Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, and I am just bringing you a quick TLDR of the Tumbrel Cyclone Q&A. So, let's get started. Number one, what ships will the Tumbrel Cyclone fit into? So, quickly, um, Constellation and up, though no specifics about the Caterpillar and its elevators, so they don't really mention that. As for the Freelancer and the Cutlass, Though it may fit in the cargo bay, you might have problems getting it up the ramp, so more than likely it is not going to fit in those ships. Alright, question two. Are the Cyclone variants modular? Can we just swap the boxes out on the base model to make the variants? Um, answer, the system is currently not implemented in the game. Uh, they'll explore it when the time comes, but expect when you get your uh, Cyclone that it will be more or less like a set of variants and not, you know, a one ship that you can transform into others. Question three, how much cargo can it carry? Answer one SCU. All right, question four, what can be picked up by the Cyclone RN scanners? People, buildings, derelicts, loots, ships? Um, so, pretty much anything with an IR or an EM signature. It simply has better sensors than the standard Tumbrel Cyclone, though no values are given. All right, question five. How fast can the Tumbrel Cyclone and its variants go, and how do they compare to the Ursa and Lynx rovers in terms of speed and acceleration? Pretty much they're aiming for twice as fast as an Ursa and no real specific info on the Lynx. Question six, will it launch with 3.0? Answer, no, it will not. All right, question seven, can a cyclone end up on its side or roof? If so, how do we write the vehicle post-accident? Well, it has jump jets to try and help stop that from happening, but if it does, then you're just going to have to get out and flip it, though no specifics on exactly how that works and when that will be implemented. All right, question eight. Is more protection for the exposed driver being considered for the combat versions or will a cockpit shot be a one hit kill? Uh, the vehicle will come with shields once it is uh, implemented in the game. Question nine. What are the pros and cons of the Cyclone compared to other land vehicles when it comes to terrain handling, speed, utility, and combat? All right, uh, the Ursa Rover is tough but slow the nox is fast and nimble but fragile ursa rover sits right in the middle all right question 10 will the co-pilot of the cyclone be able to shoot their personal weapons while seated uh that is a feature that they current that they are planning to implement in the game no eta question 11 is the cyclone protected by a shield yes Question 12. Can the Cyclone pull a trailer? Uh, trailers are not currently planned for the game, but if they do indeed get implemented, the Cyclone is the ideal candidate. Question 13. Can we rearm missiles in anti-aircraft variants in field conditions? Uh, the missile racks on the Cyclone work the same way as the missile racks on ships. We haven't exactly figured out how you rearm them yet. Question 14. Can the hubs inside the wheels move from the bottom we've seen in the pictures to the top to give more ground clearance? Uh, no, and they have no plans to add any functionality like that. And finally, question 15. The Cyclone being a wheeled vehicle and all, will it give less of a detectable SIG versus a hover bike like a Dragonfly or a Nox? So it's going to have probably about the same EM signature, though its IR signature is going to be significantly lower. So there you go, folks. That's the Tumbrel Cyclone Q&A in less than five minutes. Uh, hope you got the answers you wanted about this ship. Of course, we'll be discussing it further in the future. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.